Hello, goaltending students. My name is Guillaume Duclair. Welcome to Goalie Smarts. I smell pussy. Playoffs are the best time of the year. All season long, you've been preparing yourself by eating five guys and watching Marc-Andre Fleury highlights. Not to mention your extensive reflex training on Fortnite. Let me guess, you want to win it all. Of course you do. During the playoffs, the tension in games is very high. You want your team to be the ones who hoist the plastic trophy, toast apple juice, and has a pizza party at Chuck E. Cheese. In order to make it in the playoffs, you're going to have to consistently play at an elite level. Problem is, you can't even inconsistently play at an elite level. How else are you gonna win the playoffs? Good news, that's what this video is for. In this episode of Goalie Smarts, I'm going to teach you how you can maximize your chances of going the distance in the playoffs and having thick white girls twerking at your table at Chuck E. Cheese. This is Goalie Smarts episode 41, how to survive the playoffs. Step one, grow a beard. Not shaving your face is a long tradition in the hockey world. Unfortunately, you're not in the NHL and your playoffs are confined to the month of March. So hopefully your testosterone is high enough to grow a diesel beard in a week or two. I'm growing a beard because I'm always in the playoffs. I'm in the playoffs of life, bitch. What do you know about that? If you have trouble growing a beard, start at least a month in advance. This way, everyone at school thinks you're the stud goaltender keeping your team in the series by a thread. Even though in reality, you're just a weirdo with a hairy face. Step two, grow out the flow. What would a playoff beard be without a long, greasy hockey salad to go along with it? Call your barber and tell him that his wife should go back to selling her body on the street because your favorite customer is gonna be out of commission for a while. Just don't be upset when he shaves the swastika into the side of your head when you guys get eliminated in the first round. You could either grow the flow out up top and give yourself a slicked back g easy look or grow the flow out back and give yourself the Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior look. Either way, you're gonna look really, really bizarre. If you really wanna be in the playoff spirit, dye your hair pink, even if you're the only guy on the team that does it. And even if you're the kid who has to start his playoff beard a month and a half early because of his low testosterone. There is nothing wrong with being the only kid in school with long pink hair and pink peach fuzz, no matter what the kid who beats the shit out of you every day says. Step three, grow out your pubes. Very few people will show this level of dedication to the playoffs. If you're catching on here, growing hair is the most important part of this entire thing. Grow out your pubes and dye them pink. This tradition is what has kept the Pittsburgh Penguins a dominant team in the NHL for so long. Grow out your bush so it frightens every single person in the locker room. If you're single, good luck trying to find a girlfriend who really understands the playoffs. If you already have a girlfriend, hopefully you're able to sell her on this whole playoffs idea. Even then, you're still probably not safe. And uh, if you're a female hockey player, I don't know what to tell you. I wish you the best. Step four, don't get eliminated. You've put all this work into making sure that your team has the best luck possible for this upcoming playoff run. Depending on who you are, you've either broken up with your girlfriend, gotten the shit beaten out of you, or transferred schools, all in the sake of the playoff spirit. You have way too much invested in this tradition to let it all go. Now is the time to bring your A game, work like hell, treat every play like it's your last, and watch it all fade away when you switch halfway through with the other goalie and he gets lit up like a San Andreas bank. Thank you for watching the 41st episode of Goalie Smarts with Guillaume Duclair. This episode was suggested by Jordan Baranchik. If you think you have an idea for Goalie Smarts, talk to your doctor, which is me, in the comments. I'm Guillaume Duclair, and uh, I'm out, bitches, so. <clears throat>